I just got done doing Focus T25 Beta for the first time. So I have sweaty hair, a little rad, um, and I still have my sexy Coach Tootland voice. <laughs> Makes me feel better to say that. Um, still getting over my cold. But um, so I did, I did the beta version. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Focus T25 is fo uh, cut into two. There's actually a third section. I'm not going to worry about telling you about that. But in the DVD pack, it comes with two sections, the alpha, which is five weeks, and the beta, which is the next five weeks. So both of them have modifiers throughout. I am the modification queen. Uh, of, of course, I want to get to the point to where I can do all the moves full out and be in full planks and lift my arm and my leg all up at the same time. I mean, that's absolutely something I want to be able to accomplish. Um, but in order for me to get there, I have to modify. Um, until I get to that point. So basically in the alpha phase, which is the first five weeks, you spend that time really building up your core and your ability. And what Shanti does really, really well in this, and why I love it so much for um, the type of women I work with, which tend to be plus size women, women with PCOS, hypothyroidism, you know, things where um, fatigue plays a big role, where it's difficult um, to make change in body mass, uh, weight loss, things like that. <clears throat> is that everything is very progressive. So you start with a move and you do it for a bit that way, then he makes it a little bit tougher, a little bit tougher, a little bit tougher. But in all of that, again, there's a modifier. And sometimes you stick with the original modifier. Sometimes I modify the modifier to make it a bit easier for me. Sometimes I modify the modifier by making it a little bit tougher on me, but I'm not ready to do the full moves. And, and one of the ways I really do that is going double time in my arms. And I have some uh, videos on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash coach Tulin, T-U-L-A-N. And you can see some of that on there. So I didn't know what to expect with a beta. Hold on, I switch arms because I just did beta. Um, I didn't know what to expect with beta. I have no clue. I have some challengers who've already started. Um, I have challengers who've already completed Focus T25. Um, they had started while I was doing Ultimate Reset. So I've heard from them, but I haven't experienced it myself. I was still in the alpha phase. Uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, of course, I was a little worried. I'm not going to kid you. I like to keep it really, really real. And um, this past week, I haven't worked out as much due to a move and being sick. Um, but I believe in pressing forward because life happens. You hear me talk about that a lot. A lot. Life happens. Life gets in the way. Do you quit? I believe in just moving forward. So I don't necessarily redo the days, although there's been some rounds of exercises where I've done that. Um, I think my first round of insanity, I did that. Um, but now I'm just a big believer in something's happened. Don't look back because I'm not going that way and just keep pressing forward. So that's what I did with beta. I just kept going and I did, I did heavily modify, um, but not as much as I thought I would need to. And while it was definitely challenging, it wasn't impossible and it wasn't uncomfortable. He does focus on the core a lot um, more or differently. I don't know what it is, honestly, um, but I'm feeling it in my core in the back as well and not like sore or pain or anything but I can feel that kind of that your muscles kind of go zzz feeling while I'm sitting here <laughs> which is kind of a good feeling um, but the other thing I want to uh, touch on too and this came from a conversation that I had the other night a lot of times as plus size women or just women who are working out at first um, we go through the stage where we get jiggly and that jiggly phase after you've been working out for a while is a good thing I'm not a doctor I'm, I always say I'm just a chick on the journey I'm just like you guys I'm going through the process and I get the jiggles and it's surprising because people get upset about that y'all it's part of your process it means that you're tightening up your muscles underneath and that fat gets a little bit looser <clears throat> and for me or the way that I explain it my oh so scientific way <laughs> is that it's kind of like that awkward stage that you go through, like when you first lose your teeth and you're a kid and they first grow in and they kind of look all funky, or um, when you're first hitting your teens and you kind of go through the awkward stage, your body kind of goes through that and it's going to go through it a few times. Um, and so embrace it. Like I'm jiggling, go, yeah, I'm jiggling. That means I'm getting tight underneath and the, the fat's a little more jiggly on the outside and then you really start losing that layer. So it takes some time, but it's a good thing. Um, even at my uh, largest, I was working out. I never really paid much attention to workout clothes because I, when I first started working out, I started working out in just black sweatpants. And mine had, oh, I could show you videos. They were like paint splattered pants, um, tank tops. I was just wearing a normal bra underneath that. 
I finally got a great um, Marika bra, bra that uh, Lane Bryant was carrying, which is a high impact bra. And then now they make their own version of it. Um, and then I don't work out in shoes because it actually puts unusual pressure on my knees. So I work out um, with really, really soft feet. Anyways, in all of this, I've learned that not only is a good support top important, but also your pants. So I tend to work out in Lily Getz pants. Um, I, the reason why is because of compression. And um, there's nothing more uncomfortable to me than when I'm working out in just a regular pair of stretch pants or something like that and to have the pants travel down or just because it only has a band at the top. And again, I don't know the construction, but just because it just has the elastic band around the waist that all of a sudden that flops down and goes down over um, uh, underneath your belly apron and um, they don't stay up or as you're going for a walk, they start shimming down or as you're working out for a while, it starts um, fading and getting thin between the thighs. Um, it is uncomfortable to me, not from an aesthetic standpoint, but it's uncomfortable for me when I have that jiggly feeling. It actually is almost not painful, but very, very uncomfortable. So I'm a big believer in compression pants. Um, and compression pants that are built for a woman. So I do highly recommend Lola Getz. That is what I wear every day of my workouts. Um, and they hold up really well. They've been washed, they've been dried. I don't get any, they don't slide down under my belly. They uh, lose weight with me, they gain weight with me, they stay with me. So um, you gotta think about compression all the way through uh, in your workouts. Whether it's just a little walk that you're taking or whether it's something where you're going a little more high impact. Pants matter, y'all. You might not think about it, but once you experience it, you know. So um, big shout out to Lilo Getz for their amazing pants and uh, being a part of my journey. And that's it.